So how to use a table to graph functions. Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years, and we all know how to graph, but how do you use a table to help graph a function? That can seem kind of intimidating. Well, believe it or not, using a table is actually pretty straightforward. There's just a couple things you want to think about. So here's an example. Suppose you wanted to graph y is equal to x cubed. Now, generally, you want to choose a series of numbers for x, and then the y coordinates will fall out pretty quickly. But a tip, though, is you always want to be sure to pick out an evenly spaced out x coordinates. In other words, you don't want to pick strictly positive numbers, or you, and you don't want to pick strictly negative numbers. You kind of want to spread yourselves out a little bit. So a good range, typically, is negative 2 to 2. They're not too large, but they're pretty easy to plug in and gives you an idea, typically, as to what a graph might look like. So here we go. Let's just say you're plugging in 2, 1, 0, 1, and 2. Once you have your x coordinates, plug them in, and you'll figure out what your y coordinates are fairly quickly. Now, the function here is y is equal to x cubed. So first of all, we're going to plug in 2 in place of x. So first y coordinate is going to be whatever 2 cubed is. Well, 2 cubed is going to give you 8. So when x is 2, the y coordinate is 8. When x is 1, you're going to have 1 cubed, which is going to equal to 1. So when x is 1, y is 1. Sometimes the x and y coordinates match. Now, when x is 0, you have 0 cubed. And you know 0 cubed is going to give you 0. Now, supposing, since you already picked 1 and 2, how about negative 1 and negative 2? Now, negative 1 cubed, it's always good to write the negative number in parentheses whenever you can. Negative 1 to the third power is going to give you negative 1. So when x is negative 1, y is negative 1. Again, they match, but sometimes that happens. And then when x is negative 2, negative 2 to the third power is going to give you negative 8. And that's going to give you an idea as to what the x cubed graph is going to look like. All you have to do next is make a grid, x, y axis, plot these five points, and then just extend the graph, and you'll see what the graph looks like. So I'm Jimmy Che, and that is how you use a table to graph functions.